hello, welcome back to my channel. I've done ask Spirit to come help me with this reading. Woo, that one wanted to come up. Oh, it says sixth house routine. So, you need to focus on getting a routine together. Look, in, look into your sixth house in your zodiac chart. Routine. I think that is Virgo also. Oh, four wands. This is about a celebration, prosperity, important events, milestones. So you need to look in your sixth house because that's where some important milestones is going to show up. This could be celebrating a just cause or any kind of celebration coming. Then we got during the void of course moon missing. So you're missing some some important thing right now. You're you're not seeing something right now. You you think that's what it is. Because Geminis, that's what they do. They're thinkers. They are signs. Geniuses, some of them are. Spirit. Who is this reading about? <clears throat> it's about a grieving, grieving a decision, mm -hmm. disappointment, or it's about a betrayal, bitterness, maybe wallowing in self pity or something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, over a partnership. This could be romantic partners, soulmates, friendships, connected hearts, uh, marriage. And then Five of Pentacles came out. Financial or health difficulties. Feeling left out or ostracized. Worrying about your security, a chance to clear energy blockages. So that's what you're being called to do right now. A chance to clear your energy blockages. Could be about a king of cups, somebody who's emotionally intelligent and they have patience and the experience they're very stable. They know how to, you know, they know how to keep things going. Oh, and then we got nine of swords. So it come upside down. So you've been giving yourself negative self-talk affect, affecting your own self-esteem and opportunity to actively begin to heal. So... That's what you've been doing. People might think you're ostracizing yourself and you're in self-pity, but maybe you're not. You're healing yourself. That's what it's saying to me. You're healing yourself. Who is this person that's healing their self, Spirit? Thank you. The star. <laughs> well, so you're, you, you're full of expectations, fulfilled wishes, Wishes granted, opportunities healed, 
after trauma. Knowing you're on the right path, you're an inspiration and a renewed hope. Thank you, Spirit. So, this is about the star, the Aquarius, our sign. What else, Spirit? Who's the star healing spirit? Who is the star helping heal other than herself? A knight of pinnacles. Diligence, hard work, determined steadfastness, building material success and security. Being pragmatic about the situation, everything in life, expansion. So, you're expanding your mind on things, and this diligence and hard work is leading you. It's leading you, of what Spirit says. Where is it leading the star to, Spirit? Woo! To the King of Swords. Intelligent logic. You use your logic in all situations. You don't just go out and act irrationally. You listen to rules and laws. You have clear thinking, strong communication, leader, truth, and proof. That's how you tend to look at things. So you're looking at this situation with a total new outlook. Or that's what your man's doing, this king of swords. What's to come of this star and king of swords spirit? Woo! A creative success. Determinated to get the job done. You like dancing. Woo, woo, woo. You, you're, you're a joy to be around. You're bold. You express yourself. You help others as you're building your queendom. You're in the power. My light connects and excites passion. See, she got the power in her hands. In her own hands. Yeah, her man sees that. That's what it is. Now, let's see. Whoa. Oh, my cards was falling. I'm going to use these, this regular tarot to, it was definitely a betrayal because this was the bottom. You've been backstabbed by t maybe even 10 different people backstabbed you. What else about this five of cups? Oh, remember you were uh, grieving and in disillusion and disappointment and betrayal? You've turned your back totally on this situation. You ain't going back to it. You've made yourself clear, I believe. No more going back and forth in your own brain and emotions. Let's see. What about two of cups? This partnership spirit. What about this two of cups, spirit? What about this partnership? What about this partnership, spirit? Oh, see, you put a death to it. That can be um, a job, partnership, you understand? Or that could be a relationship. 
that can be kindred spirits. That could be, you know, a bunch of different relationships. There's, there's going to be a death, but with all death, there's a rebirth. You've laid that situation down, that's what it means. What about this Five of Pentacles? The Star. Aquarius. So see all that bright light. That's what you do to men, and you come, you try to heal things. And you know sometimes when to leave certain situations because you're led by God. God, God takes you. He'll, he'll bring you around certain people in your life. And sometimes it's they're difficult people, you know what I mean? And... Sometimes you'll just keep on taking it and taking it until God, he tells you, he gets pissed off and he finally tells you, get out of there, move away from the situation. And that's what you did, you know. So now what else? Nine of swords in the reverse. You went inside and did the healing. Or you're being called to. Oh, now we got Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So, they're seeing you as someone loving and stable. Pinnacles, you know, they're all about wealth, you know. Spiritual net wealth, physical wealth, material wealth. You're just overflowing with abundance. Clarify this star card. Well, mm -hmm, the tower, that's also a Aquarius card, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Like I said, God will move you out of certain situations, you know it? And you'll tell people, warning, warning, stop it, I'm telling you, and then, you know. And if you was in the energy in your shadow side, loss of faith... Um, diminished hope, disappointment, missed opportunities, and despair. That will cause towers in your life, and you realize it. You know what? You learn. Don't put yourself in situations. You've learned to take advice from your partner. But now the tower's coming. Balance will be restored. Okay. What's nine, Knight of Pentacles? Just hardworking, determined, steadfast. Oh, yeah. See, you were building material success and having to defend yourself. See? Defend yourself. Conflict. Always having to one up. What about this intelligent logic King of Swords here? Spiritual pursuits. Blending mental and spiritual pursuits. That's what you decided to do, ain't it? King of Swords also. <laughs> Air sign energy. I think you weren't a bad on yourself. 
Yep. See, that's right. You learned to bet on yourself. You went in like her hermit Virgo. You see through all the illusions. This is Aquarius. See the light? Mm hmm. Look it up in tarot. Yep. Do you know Virgo and Aquarius are soulmates? I married mine at 18. See? Some people, the devil will bring people in to confuse you and try to upset marriages too. And you, see, you went in and you understood and you understood your part in it and you don't want none of it. You want old man Virgo because you're destined together forever. That what it is. That's who King of Swords is. Virgo, I told you. Okay, now what's Queen of Wands? Tell us, spirit. Tell us, spirit. Tell us, spirit. Your Virgo's light for the world. That's what it means. I was trying to remember that Bible quote in the Bible, but I don't think I remember how to say it correctly at the moment. No man that hath a candle shall putteth it under a lampshade. Is that what it said? Um, basically, it was saying don't hide your light. Be a light to shine for all. Yeah, see? Truth. Yep, King of Swords. King of Swords again. King of Swords twice and Star twice. Marriage, like I said. Huh. And Pentacle. Like I said, Virgo. I, I was right. Look, Temperance Aids will come. You saw through. You got clarity. Yeah, now balance is restored. <laughs> Spirit, I thank you for that. Let's see. I'm going to use some of these little cards. Hardship. May I embrace what's happening right now, as baffling or painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. That's what you're doing, ain't it? Yep. It is because you moved away from them hardship um, situations. Body. Show me, divine, how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. Yes, please, spirit. Well, another one, spirit. Health. Allow me, divine, to be tender and accepting of my body, no matter what ailments I may have. May I always know it's doing the best that I can. Help me to be a loving ally and friend to, the, to this sacred form. So it's telling you to pay attention to your health right now. You're being called to it because it's saying hardship of the body and of health. So... Be mindful of your health. Even mental health is important. Remember. Oh, truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, yet get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. Ain't that pretty in little birds? I feed my little birds. They'll come in the morning and they'll peck at my window. God loves birds. That's why I take care of them. 
I take care of my animals and my dogs loves me. They do love me. These are called Cards of Time. Pisces. <clears throat> Find your center. 12 weeks or 12 months. You'll be centered in whatever you're doing. That's what it's saying. Pisces is the 12th house. You can look that up in your bar chart and see where that is. Six, enjoy time. In six days or six weeks, you're going to be enjoying your time, maybe going on vacation. Enjoying what you do in life. Just enjoy being you. Friday, finalize something. Just let go. So Friday, you need to just let something go. Is that Venus symbol right there? Or, uh, yeah. Now, let's see. Let me get these first. Hang on. These are energy oracle cards. Spirit, can we have one of these? Thank you. Oh, you're going to have victory. So, don't worry because you're getting the victory of this whole situation. People's envious of you, number 20. So be aware of that. Whatever this new, new start is you're doing, people are envious of it. They're jealous. They liked having you in this energy. Yeah. They, they miss out. Mm -hmm. I don't think you miss it, but they sure miss it. Yeah. Crazy. What else, Spirit? Spirit. Saying fish shocker, Archangel Gabriel. They're envious because you opened your throat chakra and you're speaking the truth now, and they don't like it. Yeah, they really hate it. Well, you gotta speak the truth if you're Aquarius or our son. You have to. Oh, and then we got third chakra, Angel, Archangel Sh Shemuel. They were attacking your solar plexus chakra. <coughs> <coughs> Whoever these envious people were of you. And you realize that you know that. Mm -hmm. You know it. Okay. I'm going to read these uh, Ascended Master. Oh, you got Joan of Arc. Oh, yeah. Voice of Truth. See what I mean? She must have been Aquarius. 
Stand strong. Well, or air sign. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Yeah, don't be afraid anymore of what other people will say. You know it. Yeah, that's what that means. And when somebody puts you through shit and they try to persecute you for all the wrongdoings and they don't see their part, uh-oh. Especially if you've had peace with God about it. And all his situations done been put to death, you know, between you and God. It's all right because God's going to ask them one day. Yeah, he's going to say, oh, he's going to show them one day here on earth, though. It tells you in the Revelations about that, about how he's going, what he'll do for how the devil has done his angels on earth. Yep. He says, if you do that to them, I'm going to come back and take out 30-fold on your damn family. Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. So you need to get you some amethyst. Look our huh? January amethyst. Aquarius amethyst. Okay, what else? Spirit, you're so good tonight. I love you. I love God. Krishna. Devotion. Hare Krishna. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Oh, it has been recognized, hasn't it? Yes, in, in the divine. I'm so thankful for that. Ain't you all out there, collective? Paul the Venetian, you're experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Well, what about that? We know it is. We feel it. We feel it. Thank you, Spirit. That was quick. I didn't even say nothing. Round and round. Round and round we go. Where it stops, no one knows. Number 25. They wanted to keep you in a round and round, never-ending vortex. That could be a giant vortex of blessings coming in from heaven also, is what I see it said. But it also means a never-ending darn cycle. It's, we don't like that. Somebody was feeling orphaned. Like you didn't love them or didn't care. Or maybe that's what you had to go in and do healing. And people felt orphaned because you done that. Well, they got to understand sometimes you got to do that kind of stuff. Maybe maybe your children's left and they left home and you feel alone, very alone. Maybe. Maybe your partner felt like that. Let's tell you go chop wood. Clean house. Get rid of things no longer serving your purpose. Throw that negative energy out of your life. Get it out of there. Get it out of your house. Ooh, number 33. Chaos and conflict. See, it's telling you, to get that shit out of your house. Chaos and conflict. Well, spirit, you're sure right on, ain't you? Look here. Soulmates is on the bottom. So you have somebody that loves you unconditionally look at our number 41 that's that's a coincidence for me right now 41 well spirit oh and here's another one daddy whoop, whoop. let me show you something partner of mine 
47, look here. See, that's divinely guided to see that right now. 41, 47, 41, 47. That means use your mind wisely and we sure knew no how, don't we? Yeah. We ain't crazy around here, are we? No. We ain't crazy around this place. Ooh, your hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Oh, yes. Let spirit be your guide and he will lead you far. Snake Spirit said it's time to heal number 55. You might be seeing 55 a lot. <clears throat> so whoever has snake energy is, they need to heal. <clears throat> what else, Spirit? There's a snake in, your mit in the midst. Oh, and then we got Spider Spirit. They make your dreams come real. That's what Spider Spirit does. more. Huh. Owl spirit, you see clearly now. Yes, you do. We see. We are, We already got the nods and everything that we need over here. Well, I hope it's helped the people out there tonight. It helped me. So, please remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel if these resonate with anyone out there. I know not many people's watching right now, and I also know I gotta get more videos out. I do know that much to be a success. I have to do that. I keep learning and doing daily, so God's gonna help me with it. Even if I have to change things up and not do this anymore, God will show me. He always does. All right. Well, y'all have a good night. Peace.